Welcome guys to the FIFA 18 at Team of the Year. First things first, if every single one of you right now can leave a like, it takes two seconds, that would mean the absolute world to me. This video took me over eight hours just to produce the graphics alone, so leaving a like, I will love you forever. And with the prediction, I've put together a draft of players. I'm gonna go through the ones that I would like to for them to get into the team of the year and ones that I believe are gonna get in because most of the time it comes down to a popularity vote. So keep that in mind when doing your prediction in the comments. Let me know your 11 team of the year players. So if you do like this uh, type of video, make sure to support it. And if you're needing game codes or anything game related, head over to g2.com in time for FIFA 18. Stock up on Xbox Live, PSN, all those codes and use the code Fuji to get a discount on every single order. Are you ready? Let's do this. The World 11 ceremony used to take place in January. It's now being brought forward to October the 23rd, which is interesting. I wonder if EA are gonna release it on the night or keep hold of it and bring it out in January, which we are all used to. I'm getting hyped because if they do bring it out in October, that's very close to the overall launch of FIFA 18. So we can have those team of the years right at the very start. So let me know which you would prefer in the comments. Looking at the goalkeepers though, the prediction of stats is all just for fun really. Don't pay too much attention to that. Juanli G. Buffon though, he is 39 years of age and he's still regarded as one of the best goalkeepers in the world. He's, he's going strong, man. And this season, very nice. Serie A title winner. He got to the final of the Champions League and I was hoping and praying as a neutral, but as an Italian supporter, I was wanting Buffon to win the Champions League. Unfortunately, Real Madrid were too strong and Ronaldo turned up and what a goal he scored by the way. I think it was his first goal, how he took it first time uh, past uh, Buffon. It, it, was, uh, it was a dagger to the heart, but you know, it didn't really take anything away from his season and overall, like statistically, if you check, he performed better than Manuel Neuer. It's, that's not to say that Neuer didn't have a good season because he's incredible as always and he is well, the best goalkeeper in the world. But for me, this year, I'm gonna have to give it to Buffon as the overall pick. Who do I think is gonna win? Neuer. Who do I want? Obviously, Joan Lee Buffon. We have another oldie in the list, Danny Alves. And I thought that move away from Barca was it for him. He would slowly start to decline. No, he has turned up for Juve, he played well in the league. He picked up three goals there and three goals in the Champions League and his volley was wonderful. I think that he could get in it. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets into the starting 11. Does he deserve it? I guess so. I would prefer if other players in this list uh, do feature, but Danny Alves is always a nice option and he's now been transferred over to PSG. I wonder if they're going to put him as like a right wing back, right mid. Where is he going to get played? What position is he going to be released as for FIFA 18? Let me know. With the next centre back though, we have Thiago Silva and back at Milan, he was regarded as one of the best centre backs in the world. I think literally he was the best centre back at the time and over recent years, he's not declined but he's come out the spotlight a little bit and he's moved over to a uh, PSG He's always consistent though. He hasn't missed out on a team in a season since FIFA 12 Which is pretty impressive that it just could be the league itself No, he still is going strong and I think that he could well get in it But he's not gonna get my vote and then you've got Godin that arguably should have got in it a couple of seasons ago So if he didn't get in it then This season overall his stats have gone down a little bit performed well. Yes, no denying that but overall, his season stat has gone down. So I don't think he's popular amongst the voters. Unfortunate for Godin, because that would probably be a really solid card. But out of those, I'd much prefer Thiago Silva. They don't get my vote though, so yeah. So there he is boys, the best centre back in the world for me right now, Bonucci. It was pretty much a breakthrough season for him. He was able to show his true ability on the ball, playmaking, man marking, fantastic player. Serie A title winners, Champions League finalists. He has done enough personally to get into the team of the year. Will that be the case? Probably not. I have my doubts. It would be a dream though to have Buffon and Bonucci in the team of the year. I can't see it happening, but he still gets my vote. Then you've got PK that did perform quite well this season, and I wouldn't be surprised if he does get an upgrade for FIFA 18. Looking at Barcelona's achievements, they fell short in the Champions League and in the overall league. I don't think that's going to really affect the voting too much, and PK is popular amongst the voters, so it wouldn't surprise me if he gets in. But someone that I would say is a 100 percent guarantee team of the year Ramos 
best attacking center back in the world right now. And when you mix attack and defending, it doesn't really work that well, but Ramos finds a way. And not to say that he isn't bad at tackling. He has helped Real Madrid out a few times, stopping counter-attacks, getting all important challenges in. His attacking threat, though, is the best amongst any center back in the world. So with his team of the season card, uh, team of the year card, sorry, he's going to get one. Champions League winner, La Liga winner, Ramos, he's getting in. The last draft of defenders before we move over to the midfielders, and we have Marcelo. He is here to stay. Best left back in the world. It's not even up for debate. Very difficult to push off that team of the year spot. And this will be his third year straight receiving that black and blue item. He's going to get it 100% guaranteed. And on to my last pick. It's going to be Carvajal. He gets my vote. I think he deserves it more than Dani Alves. He is freakishly consistent. He times his runs well. He's very effective on the pitch. And he is arguably the best right back in the world as well. So... Real Madrid have got the players, they're doing business, and it's showing as well what they're able to achieve. So my picks for the defenders is going to be Bonucci, Sergio Ramos, Marcelo, and Carvajal. Those are my four picks. Let me know in the comment section your four defenders. So Iniesta did struggle to keep up with the tempo in certain games. Fantastic for Barcelona still, but age is against him, and he is showing signs. A perfect replacement... Verratti, bringing Verratti to Barcelona, but seriously, his stats look terrible because Iniesta is always about the assist of the assist, and will he get that team of the year card? He always seems to creep in it. I, I wouldn't be surprised, but it's very difficult to predict the midfield this year. So many players deserve it. It's all down to popularity. So Iniesta, he doesn't get my vote, and I'm not going to put him in the starting 11. With Modric, he was fantastic, but he didn't have his best season, and that could be his age could be against him, uh, the way he relies on that acceleration. Overall, though, he's still like one of the best centre mids in the world. And I love how box to box he is. He can make a tackle, he can go forward. And that's why I want that team of the card for FIFA 18. Tony Cruz, I would say he's pretty much guaranteed. Unfortunately, on FIFA and the way they program the game, it doesn't represent his style properly. Like you can get a 70 or 80 rated card and ping a ball from one side of the pitch to the other. There's no real benefit of like an 80 pass to like a, a 95 pass. Not that I've noticed really. Uh, you can play with 80 passing. It is playable. Tony Cruz though, you should really feel the benefit of someone like him in your team. He sits there in the middle of the pitch, pinging balls left, right. He's an absolute machine. And the accuracy is scary. 92% I read up. 92% accuracy. And they aren't like simple passes. These are Hollywood balls, over the top, through balls, mental stuff. So, uh, Tony Cruz and Modric get my team of the year vote. Isco this season really did step up when given the opportunity to play. He didn't get too much game time under his belt. He played well, though, and he did enough to receive a team of the season. So, would it be too far-fetched to think that he could get into the team of the year? I really don't know. Like I said, the midfielders are very hard to predict. I'd love a team of the year Isco, though. You know what you're going to get. His defending would be up to a good standard. Pace, dribbling, shooting, even physical. What a card that would be. On the other hand, we have N'Golo Kante. He needs it. He's going to get my vote. I hope to see him feature. If he doesn't, I'm going to be very disappointed. Team of the Kante at pretty much the start of the game. Rest in peace, man. That would just be the best. Back-to-back -back title winner. He did incredible things at Leicester. Went to Chelsea. Help them win the title. Come on, man. He deserves it. And I know he's not someone like a Pogba that possibly could get a team of the, a team of the year. I wouldn't be surprised, man, because he's like out there. Uh, he's got that popularity vote as well. I, the two players I didn't actually include in the midfielder draft, Pogba and Thiago. So would you vote for them? If you would, they, then let me know. They just didn't make my draft. Can't say, though, please. He gets my vote given that team of the year. Now onto the forwards, we have Lewandowski and Suarez. So comparing these two, Lewandowski in less amount of games, he was able to score more goals than Suarez this season. Bayern won the Bundesliga, Barcelona didn't win the La Liga. So statistically already, Lewandowski deserves this team of the year spot over Suarez. Is that gonna be the case? Probably not. Suarez will end up winning and they are both very, very good. It's hard to compare really who is the better striker overall. Lewandowski though this season, I think that he should get the team of the year, but it's not always down to how the player has performed. So I would prefer Suarez because of the playability on FIFA 18. 
But with Lewandowski, yeah, he should really get it. Leaving the best two players in the world till last, Messi and Ronaldo. So in the La Liga, Messi was able to score more goals in less amount of games. Ronaldo, though, smashed the, uh, the La Liga. He played very well for Portugal, and his performances in the Champions League were incredible. And if you look at the stats, the stats don't lie. Overall together, in all competitions, they both scored 56 goals, which is a little weird. And then you take a look at what Real Madrid were able to achieve compared to Barcelona. They won the Champions League. They won the La Liga. Ronaldo, for me, he edges it this year. So that's why I've given him the 99 rated card, whereas Messi, he's going to receive a 98. They both, without a doubt, will be in the team of the year. So that's not up for debate. And yeah, we can all be happy. But if you're like a Ronaldo or a Messi fan, then I wouldn't worry too much about the ratings. They're both going to be very good on FIFA 18. So if you have enjoyed my prediction, guys, then let me know in the comment section. Please do like post yours out. You can do the midfielders. I really want you to focus on the midfielders, actually, because that's where I struggled with the defense who knows who's going to get in i would say carvajal bonucci i hope ramos and marcelo midfielders are a little bit sketchy but in the attack it's got to be for me anyway Lewandowski, messi and ronaldo so thanks ever so much for watching my fifa 18 well team of the year predictions drop a like on the video and i will see you on the next one see you now.